Ich habe keine Bank. Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you a finale and this is for the project Labor of Love It. This is a project that was created by Nikkel over at Tinkerbell Rocks over on Instagram and this is a shorter project and it ends on Labor Day which I am a bit late posting this but it's all about using the products that we love in our collection and just using them. No usage goals on them. It's just you know getting some use on them and i rolled in typically we roll in 10 products i rolled in 11. i'm so excited this that's his like favorite blanket so i brought it into the bedroom and he just plopped right down yeah i rolled in 11. so i'm going to share with you the products that i rolled in and how well i did i didn't use them as much as i wanted to but i got some use on them so we're going to start with complexion items. So the first one I have is by Too Faced. It's the Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. So here is the primer here. I am down to there. And I have decided to roll this into another project. This is in my Women Who Rock project, I think. And I am rolling this into finish. So I'm so glad that I rolled it into this project because it's kind of prompted me to work on it to finish. And I really do like this primer. It's not a holy grail primer, but I would repurchase it. I definitely would repurchase it because I, I do enjoy it. But I would say it's in the top 10. It's a really lovely primer for somebody who has dry skin. So, but it's an older primer. I need to get it out of my collection. The next item is a foundation. It's by Dior. It's the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. So here it is here. I have all these marks on here. <laughs> I did not use this very much in the last month or so, which makes me sad because I, I really wanted to get some more use on this. I've just got so many foundations I'm working on to finish. So those were kind of taking priority, but I am going to roll this in, I think next year to finish because I'm, I'm down to here and I really want to roll this out. I've had this in my, my collection for a very, very long time and it's a lovely foundation. So I, I am reminding myself right now to roll this into a project next year to, to complete, but yeah, it's a lovely foundation. I got some use on it, but not a ton, not a ton, not as much as I wanted. I have several like face powder products from Wet n Wild. I have the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and Precious Petals. I rolled this in because this highlighter is a little bit too dark for me normally, but because I had a really dark tan this summer, it was perfect. So here is the shade and this is beautiful. I love it so much. It's a gorgeous highlighter. So I definitely got some use on this. Again, I had so many highlighters that I was rotating through. I didn't use it a ton, but I definitely got some use on it. So I am thrilled about that. I love it. It's beautiful. And then this one, I just wanted to see if I liked it. And oh my gosh, I do. This is by Tarte. It's the Amazonian Clay Highlight Highlighter and Stunner. I originally thought this was going to be too gray for me. But yeah, no, this is beautiful. I did not have any use on this when I rolled it in. It's gorgeous. I mean, this is probably better for me in the like fall winter yeah it's a stunner beautiful i'm so glad i rolled it in yay and then i have one blush and it's in my tarte amazonian clay color wheel and i rolled in the shade deco now i didn't i use this maybe a handful of times that's it if i can get it open yeah, it's this one here. So I kind of wanted to at least try to wear away the pattern, but that didn't happen. 
it's a really pretty blush and I, I really want to get some more use on this color wheel I think after I work on the blushes in my hourglass palette I'm gonna try to focus on this blush palette next year we'll see how that goes but yeah this was a really lovely lovely formula I enjoyed that one love that palette <laughs> Now I did have one eyeshadow palette and this is the Lorac unzipped eyeshadow palette. I love this palette. I wish, I mean, I used it three or four times. I think I'm going to try to work on this next year because it's old and it's starting to show it. This is lovely, lovely. These shimmers are really pretty. I mean, this palette is, I feel like, a way better formula than any of their other, like, regular, you know, pro palettes. I freaking love it. So I really want to get it into a project next year. I don't, depending on what the theme for the pan that palette is next year, I'm not sure. We'll see. It's lovely. And then I had two single eyeshadows. Now I enjoyed working on these. The first one is by Luxy. It's the eyeshadow in Doll Face. Now this one unfortunately shattered in my little magnetic palette. So I had to repress it. But there it is. It's gorgeous. What is he doing? Marley! But it repressed beautifully, so, you know, I, I got plenty of use on it, and it still has plenty of shadow in there, so we're good there. Hi, Ziggy. Marley is making all kinds of noise and is disrupting Ziggy's peaceful sleep. And then the next one I have is by Makeup Geek. This is the shade Fashion Addict. Oh, my gosh, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I have a nice dip going in this one now. I loved this. It's so pretty. It blended out beautifully. Oh, it's such a great shade. Lovely. I'm so glad I rolled both of those in. And they're both older eyeshadows in my collection. The last three items were lip products, and one of them I'm wearing now. It's the Lorac Alter Ego Satin Lipstick and Trendsetter. I love this so much this lipstick is amazing it's like super hydrating the color is beautiful Ugh. now it is very soft so i can totally see myself like breaking this and making a hot mess out of it but i want to pan this 100 percent because i freaking love it it needs like so many of these need to go on projects. The other bullet lipstick I rolled in is by MAC. It's the Matte Lipstick in Nouvelle Vogue. I rolled this in because I love MAC lipsticks, not necessarily because of this color. And this was nice. It wasn't my favorite shade, I would say, but it was a lovely, I mean, I love this formula. I would probably use this more as a mixer, now I did use this with this next product because I had both of them sitting at my desk. This is a lip gloss from Dose of Colors and the shade is Spill the Deets. I love this formula so much. And in fact, a lot of times I would just throw this on if I would go to my desk and I didn't have any other lip products with me, I would just be like, okay, let me throw this lip gloss on. This is such a great formula. Oh, I love it so much. I mean, the color is not like a uh, color I would normally wear all the time, but the formula is fantastic. It's so great. So those are the items I was working on and how I did with them and my thoughts on them. I mean, I love all the, the products, whether it be the color or the formula. And I have several earmarked for projects next year or upcoming, you know, projects in the near future. Yeah, I'm very excited. So anyway, that is my finale for this project. I am sad Ziggy left. Let's blame Marley. Thank you so much, Nikkel, for bringing this project back. I love it. That is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you all next time. Bye.
a couple of powder products for the face. I have a couple of highlighters from Wet n Wild. I have the Mega Glow. Oh, wow. What was that? Mega Glow is by Lorac. It's the Alter Ego. I just spit everywhere. Okay, bye.